back to my channel at Live Love Lex 71. I am Lex and in this video I'm back with my one month review on the Belle Virgin Hair which can be found on AliExpress. So I was contacted maybe, I don't know, maybe three months ago to do this review and I'm just now getting to it last month. And you guys can check out the unboxing, my initial thoughts, um, me making the wig itself, me coloring the wig. You can check all that out in my previous two videos I believe. And I want to thank all 20k people that have basically seen that review. I really do appreciate it. So yeah, welcome to the channel. If you are new and if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. So yeah, so I have the wig right here. I'm going to try it on. Got a couple styling tools here. We'll, we'll do something. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible and I'm already at 50 seconds. So first and foremost, I try to give you guys all the information about the vendor or anything that I know. And first and foremost, I know that there are four, maybe five now major players on AliExpress. These are the vendors that you go to for the five bundles and a closure for $10. These are the um, main people and that is Ali Moda Hair, VIP Hair, Modern Show Hair, and Belle Virgin Hair. They are known notoriously for giving almost every YouTuber hair to review and it has a lot of mixed reviews, a lot of good, a lot of bad. And I will say that a lot of um, the hair, like, they're different. At one point, I thought it was all one company. But I can tell that off the two reviews that I've done for the four companies that the hair is actually different. So we're going to get into Bell Virgin Hair, the pros and cons and everything about that. So let me show you guys the unit. At one point, it was ginger blonde. Now it is gothic black, okay? So I wore it ginger blonde for about two weeks and i will say with lace frontal units i'm not even going to front with lace frontal units <laughs> you really have to know what you're doing for them to be undetectable i personally would just stick to my four by four to five by five lace closures but since they are all the rave right now everybody wants a lace frontal unit you know i definitely want to bring it to you guys i am not no pro when it comes to that there are like literally hair guides out there that have mastered lace frontal units. One of them being like Tokyo Styles. So please do check him out, okay? I'm always on his Instagram. His his stuff is like great, okay? So um, this is the unit right here. And I will tell you when you are messing with lace frontals that you will need to customize the hairline. It comes at 110 to, a, well, 100 to 110 density around the hairline. You need to take that bad boy down to about 70 to 80%. So you have to do a lot of major plucking. It's going to look bald. It's just what it's going, it's just what's going to happen. Once you put it on, it's not going to look like that. Now, one thing, since I have colored this unit, it is not as undetectable as it was when I um, left it the golden, well, what color was that? The ginger blonde with like the dark roots, okay? I believe those give the most natural appearance when there is dark roots in color that's what I personally believe so I did of course get black dye on the knots and as you guys can tell I went ahead and plucked the hell out this frontal and you guys are going to see why I'm telling you guys why about that later on in this but let me go ahead and put it on this is the inside like I said <laughs> I did not care about the dye job on here. I knew that this was going to be my standard part. I was not going to change it. So, yeah. But anyway, it's sold on a dome um, cap. Originally, this was two bundles of 18 inch and two bundles of 20 inch with a 16 inch closure. Now, you guys can tell it's about 6 to 10 inches all the way around. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and put her on. All right. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, yeah, the reason why it's looking all like this is because I haven't done nothing to this unit as I usually do with all my reviews, with all my update reviews, for about maybe a week and a half, two weeks. I don't know. So, it's probably looking all types of dusty. And yeah so when you are wearing lace frontal units the first rule of thumb besides plucking the closure is you have to utilize your baby hairs okay if you are not a baby hairs person lace frontals might not be for you <laughs> okay you're going to have to pull these little things out and I don't mean that you have to you know get the hicks edge control and lay them all down all nice and perfect but you have to have that covering the lace okay so as you guys can see here 
okay what I like to do is use a rotating kind of like massage around the hairline and it creates like a more natural look when I'm trying to bring out my baby hairs like this excuse my nails if they look a mess I had a um, to dye a closure black yesterday so yeah <laughs> okay so I hope you guys can see that it kind of gives it a nice wispy look okay I'm trying to zoom in on this hairline once again it's not as detectable because I did dye it black but hopefully it looks okay you guys get the point <laughs> Now I'm going to use my Remington flat iron on 455. This was like $30 from Target, nothing special. And I'm just going to take and curl, well not curl, but kind of flat iron back one part of this hair so that you guys can see that it can look pretty decent when it wants to. Whoops. was not right take it on back I really need to be using my barrel curling iron but I don't feel like getting up so whatever all right you guys are gonna get the point so there we go right there that's what you guys want as you guys can see the hair can definitely be bought back to life <laughs> And this hasn't been washed or anything in about two weeks. It does, it does hold a curl, but like I said, it does need to be washed. So now let's get into the shedding, tangling, what I purchased again, all that good stuff that you really want to know. First and foremost, when it comes to shedding and tangling, I feel like I may not be the best um, person to look at for that review on that part because the hair is short, so it kind of has an advantage. So I will be linking a young lady by, I believe, Miss Cree. I believe that's her name. Um, her video down below because we had the exact same experience with the hair the exact same but she has longer lengths you know your 20 22s 18s so she'll be able to tell you guys more about the hair than me i will be you know putting her information somewhere in this video so please do check her out if you want a more thorough review which goes hand in hand with my personal experience with the hair but this longer area right up in here is prone to a lot of tangles so that makes me wonder that if you get 12 inches and longer you might need to you know hmm if you're gonna buy this hair because it is prone to tangles so as you guys can see right here like it's just kind of like I don't know it's all right right now but like I really do have to that, that's my problem area is the longer part of the hair so please keep that in mind so as far as shedding goes the hair is short so of course I don't get that much shedding um, I really barely have to comb it um, like don't look at this like this looks a mess but what I'm trying to say is like when it's actually curled right and everything I barely have to um, comb it and it's fine I do not get a lot of shedding just your standard three to four strands per day that every youtuber says my thoughts on the frontal I actually love the frontal I think the lace is very good and durable especially for those as myself who this was their first lace frontal unit that want to try a lace frontal because that is very important I have had a lace frontal before which um I had to make a unit out of and it's very it, it was Swiss lace now Swiss lace is more delicate it's more undetectable but when you are picking at it with tweezers trying to customize it it is not the move it is very prone to um, ripping very prone so this lace right here I believe is a French lace so as you guys can see in this part I did one of them things where they try to you know tweeze the part and I over tweezed it um, but I did it kind of on purpose and that is so that you guys can see after doing all that and literally ripping it from the scalp I do not have any holes I think that is very important <laughs> when you are um, customizing these lace frontals also I did like the frontal enough to where I purchased my own lace frontal from Belle Virgin Hair and this is this one right here 
Um, I did have wefts behind it, but I took it off of the cap to test the actual um, hair but um, from another vendor. And this is the unit. So, I mean, this is the frontal. I try to color it again. And yeah. Pros of the hair. So the main pros of the hair are that the main thing that I distinguish this hair from any other hair on AliExpress, believe it or not, is the fact that it is a medium to low luster. A lot of these virgin hair companies out here place so much silicone on the hair that it is like silky straight. I personally like texture in my hair and this is like one of, well this is actually the second um, vendor that had like low luster hair. <laughs> so that is definitely a pro personally for me. Another pro I would say that it takes color very well. You can either take it up or take it down. Another pro would be the cost. I mean I believe that it's pretty affordable and they have a lot of bundle deals and um, the shipping was fast. All that was good. Let's see another pro. I think that's about it yeah that's about it now as far as the cons go I think the cons will be if this was in longer lengths that I will probably get some tangling that I would not be happy with um, another con is the fact that it is a low luster hair so it is prone to look dry frizzy um, let me see what else prone to tangles from the friction of the strands so do keep that in mind that it is like the gift and the curse when it comes to um low luster hair or medium low luster hair and i'm trying to think of another con with this hair i think that's really it <laughs> okay so would i buy the hair obviously i did buy the hair um would i purchase i would purchase the frontal before i bought the weft hair because I actually, like I said, I just really like that it's not super shiny. Like, that really irks me sometimes when it comes to a lot of these AliExpress vendors. So, please do check out Bell Virgin Hair on AliExpress. Please look at other reviews. Make your own assessment before you purchase. But this is my experience. And I will say that the bundles um, and the frontal do match in texture. And that this frontal came pretty much the exact same as this frontal here. And I honestly don't even think they put two and two together that I was rebuying the hair. So, yeah, it was, um, you know, it was pretty good. Now, do I think this hair is going to last you past a month or two? <laughs> that I do not know. I do not know. So, this is not no hair you're going to have in your hair stash for six months. No, this is not going to happen. This is hair that you're going to have for maybe three months is pushing it. Like, it's pushing it so this is like your temporary hair this is your oh i'm going on vacation hair oh i have a long month in school hair i just need a protective style you know this is that type of hair this is not nothing that you put some hard earned investment in and think this is just going to be like you know the it hair no this is not it but it definitely does serve its purpose for a month or two so anyway please go check out bell virgin hair on aliexpress i'm gonna leave all the information down below i really do appreciate them reaching out to me to do this review i do have pros and cons of the hair but i hope that the company watches this video and works to perfect their hair so anyway thank you guys for watching